a significant move to alleviate the increasing financial strain on the South African government, the National Treasury has announced a plan to allocate I-11 billion over the next two financial years. This funding is specifically aimed at encouraging older government employees in non-critical skills positions to consider early retirement. The government hopes this strategy will help reduce the rising public pay bill while streamlining operations to focus resources on essential services and development projects. The goal is to improve overall efficiency in the public sector. The announcement comes amid ongoing economic pressures that the government faces. Rising costs associated with public sector salaries have made it clear that changes are necessary. By incentivizing experienced employees to retire, the Treasury aims to free up funds that can be redirected towards pressing needs, such as education, health care, and infrastructure. These sectors require immediate attention and investment to ensure the country's growth and development continue on a positive trajectory. Finance Minister Enoch Godomwana emphasized that this initiative goes beyond merely cutting costs. He stated that it focuses on rejuvenating the workforce and ensuring that the government possesses the necessary skills to meet the evolving demands of the economy. By encouraging qualified government employees to retire, the plan will create job openings for younger professionals. This influx of new talent is expected to bring fresh ideas and innovation into the public sector, which is essential for driving progress. To make this transition appealing, the government plans to offer attractive retirement packages to eligible employees. These packages will serve as incentives to encourage seasoned professionals to make the decision to retire early. While the potential loss of institutional knowledge and experience among retiring workers has raised concerns, the Treasury is committed to implementing measures that will facilitate a smooth transition. One key component of this effort is the establishment of mentorship programs. These programs will pair retiring employees with younger staff to ensure that valuable skills and insights are passed down, preventing the loss of expertise. As the government prepares to implement this initiative, there is a delicate balance to strike between fiscal responsibility and the need for an efficient and dynamic public workforce. The Treasury's proactive approach in managing these economic challenges while promoting growth demonstrates a commitment to responsible governance. The move is seen as a necessary step to address long-standing issues within the public sector and to enhance its capacity to deliver services effectively. The historical context of this decision can be traced back to the economic challenges South Africa has faced over the years. High unemployment rates, rising public debt, and concerns about the effectiveness of government services have prompted calls for reform. In this environment, the need to streamline government operations and ensure that resources are allocated efficiently has never been more critical. The new retirement initiative is a response to these challenges, aiming to create a more sustainable and responsive public sector. In conclusion, the National Treasury's plan to allocate I-11 billion for early retirement incentives is a crucial step in addressing the financial pressures faced by the government. By encouraging experienced employees to retire and bringing in new talent, the government aims to improve the overall efficiency of public services. While challenges remain, such as ensuring the transfer of knowledge and expertise, the initiative represents a commitment to adapting to the changing needs of the economy and enhancing service delivery. We encourage viewers to share their thoughts in the comments below. Do you think this plan will help improve public services in South Africa? What are your concerns about the loss of experience in the public sector? Make sure to subscribe for more updates on this developing story and other important issues facing our country.